Sushi live reading. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at the uh, a way we can kind of use uh, BVH data. Um, BVH data is a motion capture data, and recently I've been paying attention more into motion capture. And yeah, I found this website dancedb.eu, uh, and this one has a lot of really good motion capture data, and it's also supplied with a video. The FBX doesn't actually work, but uh, BVH works really well for us. So we're gonna take a look. I downloaded the Flamenco Performance by Cleo de la Fara. And yeah, we're gonna just take a look how we can use it inside Blender. And we're gonna mix it with animation nodes and spread chalk nodes as well. So um, I already downloaded uh, the motion capture data. So we're just gonna file, import, uh, BVH motion capture and there's a bit of option here you can have a look but I just keep it at default go under download I have a lot of folder just hide the folder uh, okay filter out the folder and I okay I actually need the folder dense DB Clio Flamenco import BVH um, this one is actually quite large. I think the, the whole animation is, is around 4,000 frames, but it's really, really good um, animations. Okay, let me, I don't have mouse, so I'm gonna file, frame all. I think this is the real human size character. Let's try using between two, actually that's quite nice, 250 to 1,000. Oh, very nice. Um, all right. So let's save this as BVH study. So the BVH is of course a motion capture data and normally when you bring it into Blender, it only has this armature. You cannot really render this out. It would be nice if you can render it out just like the skeleton. Um, but we, we're gonna try to do a little bit more with the nodes. So let's try animation nodes. Um, I am using Blender 2.8. That's actually, oops. Go to under help. Um, where is the, where is the start screen? Okay, splash screen, okay. 2.8 beta. This is the one version before the RC because the RC number one doesn't work with Mac OS properly. So anyway, I have this that works with animation nodes. So that's good. Create a new node tree and search for armature. So with animation nodes, we have armature info nodes. This one is pretty straightforward actually. So if you want to put a sphere, for example, and I'll, I'll use icosphere you want to put icosphere on every uh, joints you can do that quite easily you basically just use like a object instancer select this guy we're gonna instance it on let's say on every matrices uh, we can do that um, let's just copy it full object sometimes if I do it it crashes no it doesn't the center we can Try using the matrices first. So object transform object matrices object matrix output. So we have instance of the icosphere, and we can just plug this in, and we get our flamenco armature. So I think it's already working. So now we have. Icosphere on every joints. Okay, it's just a dot. Um, the size we can have better. I think we can have better control instead of using object matrix output. We can use object transform output. It's more straightforward. So for our instance objects. We need to put it on the locations. 
for the location we're gonna get the the centers and here we we can control the scale a little bit a little bit better even though it's nothing much okay so animation nodes works on this it's really really uh really really good and high performance at, i guess um but we can do a little bit better so there is an example here under amateur info animation notes manual read the documentation you can use the pose bone and the rest bone so yeah it has all the explanations example usage we're gonna try to replicate this um yeah so basically we already have it i think we can combine oops, combine vector and we have this length the length of the bones that we can use for our the size of our sphere so let's multiply this by a number and plug this into combined vector and plug this into the scale all right a little bit better <laughs> it's kind of nice if you ever seen the actual flamenco dance that's a uh, really cool but you need you need to have some music as well really cool um, yep that's basically what it is vector from value okay yeah it's instead of using combined vector maybe maybe we can do a little bit better here so there is rotation as well and directions okay direction is not exactly rotation so we need to convert directions to rotations hopefully this makes sense directions plug into this guy so it's the multiple value and then the output's gonna be it's gonna go there What's happening uh, there? Uh, you can't really see it until you scale. Okay, so that's uh, that seems to work right away. Kind of okay, even though the the finger looks weird and because we are we are just basically using this sphere, put it in the center of every bones, and then scale it in the z axis and. Yeah, I think this is what we get. I think this is correct. The we have directions over the bones. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. All right, so that's with animation nodes, but you can also do it with sphere chop. With the sphere chop, unfortunately, you don't. You cannot have the post bones, so you kind of stuck with the with the rest bones. Rest bone is that, um, let me hide this thing first. So for every object we have here, we're gonna hide it. So we still have the master sphere. Animation nodes instant is hidden. We're gonna use scratch off now. Let's look at the original armature. If we hit tab, we're gonna go to edit mode. And look at this, this is the original armature, which is really quite interesting because we have like the arm and the legs just flat like that. Normally you want it a little bit more like human pose. Um, maybe that's okay. Yeah, you. this is kind of what I was expecting. yeah if we change this to rest well, it's just resting there oh well we can probably kind of kind of hack that um anyway kind of wish we have this and we should be able to apply this pose actually So 
we have this pose I want to turn this into the rest pose okay edit okay animation nodes is taking all the uh, processor power so it's a bit slow let's turn off always so it's basically off with this bone edit operator search post apply post to rest post actions on this armature will be destroyed by this new rest post okay probably okay hmm. okay yeah the animation is a bit broken now but at least the rest pose is good so the rest pose okay now let's switch to spare chalk and with spare chalk you have armature props which is slightly similar to animation nodes one except that this one is using the rest pose only so how do we use this there's a documentation as well for this um, spare job armature pro and the one that's interesting is this one let's zip let's zip the head and tail and use UV connection so let's zip head and tail keep level one maybe you need to unwrap use UV connections and the mesh output this one we need to point out the this guy flamenco number two so the output we have vertices and edges and I believe we already have output oh merge it merge it into a single object so yep there you go this is the rest pose of this guy oh why do you want this uh, you might ask um, because that's me okay this is done right we can take a screenshot just in case we can delete this we can go to edit mode of this guy and then edit um, we can merge it you can merge by distance but you can also you can mark root for skin modifier skin modifier and go back to edit mode I think we need to merge it merge by distance okay edit skin root mark okay that's a little bit better edit mode scale so we have something based on the joints so that's really what I'm trying to show here um, so if we use this and then skin it it should kind of work Bye. but then again uh, this seems to be I think if you apply the the pose into the into the base one uh, you're gonna have issues if I just parent this into this guy control P with automatic weight yeah we have issues you see
Mm. Yeah, it's weird that the edit, the original pose is like this. It's kind of weird. Must be a way to do this. Better way. So select this again. Um, I'm at frame zero. Go to post mode. Edit operator search apply. Apply visual transform to pose. Project apply. Pose apply pose to as a rest pose. Actions on this armature will be destroyed by this new rest pose. Yeah, I don't know why. That's too bad. So animation is it's gonna be a little bit weird now. Still doing flamenco. I thought there must be a way so that we can apply the 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 pose into the rest pose while keeping the the animation of the flamenco, so that we can use this stick figure character into our animations. Yeah, there must be a way, uh, but that's basically what I want to show to you. So using animation nodes and spare job, we can really uh, turn it, uh, turn armature bones into something that you can render. But you, you need to be careful with this rest pose and the and the pose um, pose bone. So slightly tricky, but maybe if I figure out something, I'll let you know. But uh, Armature is interesting. Uh, I mean, motion capture and armature data is interesting if you can kind of uh, figure it out. Because I'm thinking to do augmented reality things that uh, you can use with Apple USDZ. So I have this robot. Um, robot assets that you can apply on an app. So it's kind of doing motion capture on the fly okay I have it somewhere it's on the desktop Okay, so this is the this is Apple assets for its robot demo. If you can have a, if you have a hierarchy of character with this bone and you can apply the animations right away. Um, yeah, so that's basically the idea here. But yeah, you need to kind of familiar with Blender, PVH and post bone and rest bone before you can do this properly all right but anyway that's pretty much it thanks again for tuning in uh let me know what you think if you have any any knowledge you can add to this let me know in the comments um thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye